So when you're building a brand new gaming PC or really even just purchasing one, maybe a pre-built, um, I've always held that there are certain specs that you really need to target as kind of the bare minimum that you're willing to settle for. And these have changed over time. Uh, some of these specs are in relationship to power supplies. For instance, knowing the graphics cards available, what's the lowest wattage you're willing to go with, what's the lowest efficiency you're willing to go with, all those sorts of things. And some of that is personal preference. Like, are you willing to purchase a really cheap PC case uh, instead of getting one that is you, something you can grow into and upgrade the rig over time? There are trade-offs to all of that. So... One of the steadfast things that I've held to as I've built and sold PCs over the past really about three, four, five years is trying to fit a one terabyte SSD into a gaming rig. And for the most part, rigs that I'm selling as gaming PCs, I really try to stick to get to at least 16 gigabytes of memory and that's whether it's ddr3 if i'm working with an older system or ddr4 systems if they're a little bit newer i haven't yet built any ddr5 systems to sell so i can't speak to those right now however right now i'm sort of reevaluating the minimums for a few different reasons and i want to talk about those and i'm not just talking about the minimums on memory i'm also talking about the minimums on storage so for those of you that are unaware uh, SSDs and memory have gotten really, really cheap over the last year or two. So looking at some DDR4 memory here, this is a 32 gigabyte kit. Uh, it's a 2x16 gig kit rated at 3600 megahertz speed. And the chart at the bottom of the screenshot here, you'll notice it's expanded out to the price history of 978 days. And what you'll notice in early to mid-2021, the price of 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory was north of $150. At one point, it was about $175, $180 for this exact kit. Today, you can pick up this kit for under $60. Now, of course, pricing and availability are constantly changing, so links are in the description down below, but basically, memory is really, really cheap. And that's DDR4, but the same is true of DDR5 memory. DDR5 memory is still a little bit more expensive than DDR4, but that's always been the case. And the price has gone from being astronomical to very accessible. And I'll link a kit of DDR5 memory down below as well. But it hasn't been just desktop memory. It's also SSDs. Now, SSDs getting cheap is really important for one big other factor other than just adding more storage, but it's also that games have gotten progressively bigger and bigger and bigger as time has gone on. So storage getting very, very cheap is also making it possible to continue building a gaming PC that can handle the increased file sizes of lots of games. And similarly, to drive that point home, this is a two terabyte NVMe drive. This is a Gen 3 by 4 drive. It is a very much a commodity class SSD. There's no fancy DRAM caching or anything like that happening here. But this chart only expands out to 547 days. But going back to March of 2022, this exact SSD was about $170. Today, you can pick it up for about $65 or $70. So what we've seen, even though inflation has been a bit crazy over the past couple of years, storage and memory are getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, allowing you to, on a similar budget as you used to be able to build like a one terabyte gaming PC with 16 gigabytes of memory, now you can build a PC for about the same budget, ignoring graphics card prices, with two terabytes of storage and 32 gigabytes of memory. And all this is to say that occasionally you have to reevaluate what the minimum specs you're willing to go with are, and this is one of those times right now, if you've been considering a storage upgrade, a memory upgrade, or you're building a new system, 
it probably has never been a better time to upgrade those specific components in your planned build or your current rigs because storage and memory are incredibly cheap right now. There's really very little reason you should be building a gaming PC at this point with less than 32 gigabytes of memory and less than two terabytes of storage, especially on the storage front though, uh, you can get away with less memory. Like 16 gigabytes of memory in a gaming rig is still probably fine for pretty much any game out there that you wanna play, but storage wise, you can only save so many games to an SSD of one terabyte or smaller. Certainly if you have like a 512 gigabyte SSD, if you go with a two terabyte one, that's gonna expand your ability to just have lots of games installed and kind of play what you want at any given point. So that's just my thought on currently where you should land with the minimums for a gaming PC, both in memory and storage, but I am curious, all of you, those of you out there that are building a system right now, maybe upgrading your current system, what do you view as the minimums when it comes to memory and storage for your gaming PCs? Let us know in those comments down below. And while you're down there, like, share, subscribe, all those things are great. I'm gonna let YouTube queue up a few more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I will see you all in the next video.